Dreams, and this is a leisure solo game of introspection where you're going to be trapped in a dream and you're going to be using a double-sided deck of cards in order to generate different encounters and tell the story of the dream where you'll hopefully be able to resolve and wake up and escape the dream world. But one of the really interesting things about this game is that it really does have near an endless amount of possibilities because there are a lot of permutations in this game. Each of the cards are going to have different prompts and arrows on them and you're going to be drawing cards out and these arrows are going to be matching different prompts. You're going to be combining those cards in order to create different stories or events or even to define your character. And that's the first thing you'll be doing in this game is generating your character and that's going to define who you are, how you feel, and what you have to do in order to complete your dream. And after you've done that, you're going to be going through a series of encounters that are all generated by a deck of cards. And the way that this works is that you're going to be drawing one of these cards from the deck, which is going to have a number on it. And then you're going to be drawing that many more cards. You're going to be putting these cards side by side into a sort of river. And then you're going to have arrows that point to one side of the card with prompts that show on the other. But then the last card is flipped over to show some sort of visual representation of a location. And then it's going to be up to you as the player to look at all these cards and generate a story using that location and the different prompts in order to tell the encounter as it happens. So there's a lot of freedom here and it is encouraged to journal this down on a piece of paper so that you have your complete story once you finish the game. And the event cards do also have icons on them and if you happen to draw multiple of the same icon then you're going to be adding an event to your encounter. And the way that that works is you're going to be drawing from the event deck and you're going to be taking two cards and flipping one over and these are also going to work similar to those encounter cards where you're going to have an arrow pointing at the other card and these ones work similar but do have a little bit of differences they're going to have a little bit more text and story to tell and then they're going to be adding a tone to that story and this is just something additional that you're going to have to consider when you're trying to define what exactly is happening in that encounter but every time you're defining one of these encounters you're always going to want to keep in mind the way that your character was generated and how they might behave in that scenario. And then you're going to be going through a series of these encounters until the game naturally comes to a conclusion when you've decided that your character has gone through the appropriate encounters to have completed their goal, whatever that may have been. A really unique game here and if you want to know more I have links in the description below.